one of the hardest parts about your, your capstone is like thinking about like what what do I want to build? There's a lot of flexibility to go in so many directions. It's very it's purposefully um, vague as far as what they actually want you to build. There's just a few um, technical requirements to make sure that you are actually using um, the technologies that we're learning as we're going in the curriculum at that point. I kind of try to like reverse engineer it in the sense of like, all right, like what's important to me? Um, what would I want to be talking about in an interview if somebody asked me to describe the project? You know, one of the things that's great is like being able to create apps and use software to like make like any kind of like positive social impact. So um, I had that in mind when I was just kind of like looking through APIs, databases that store whatever information that somebody else made and you just um, can, hit that API and then it'll return you a big set of data that you can basically build your app around. I started there just kind of like looking through different APIs um, and I found this really cool API, it was called Refuge Restrooms. And what it is is basically just a database of restroom listings entered by the um, transgender, intersex, and gender non-conforming community. Um, just basically flagging like, hey, this is a restroom that I went to and um, you know, it labeled as a safe place and just wants to share it with the community so that others there know that they can go there without any kind of hassle. So I guess my first reaction to it was like, I was a little um, surprised and maybe even angry that like something like this even like needs to exist today. That was what kind of like piqued my interest. And so I looked further into the API, what kind of um, you know, data does it provide? Um, and I found it was like very basic. It just kind of gives like um, the address of where the restroom actually is and maybe like a few notes of like, uh, it's like in the back, um, it's unisex or something like that. Um, so I said, okay, this is pretty cool. We can do something with this. Maybe make like a really cool UI where you could put in your address and um, you know, the addresses pop up on the map, but like how can we take this one step further? And that's definitely where my mentor helped me come in and, and sort of brainstorm ideas. Um, and one of the things we um, realized was like, hey, like this data is missing really important information for someone who's like looking for a place to go. Um, like, what are the business hours? Is this business still even open? Maybe like, what's the um, phone number? Things, anything you would basically Google about um, an address to find out more information um, were things that could definitely be added on to the actual uh, data source that I was getting from Refuge. So sure enough, I looked for other APIs. I found the Google Places API. Um, and it kind of just gives you data with just that where you enter an address or coordinates and it will give you like um, hours of operation, what kind of business it is. You know, obviously anything you can learn from Google that data was available. I had these two really great um, APIs I had access to and the real technical challenge was somehow um, combining the results from both APIs into one response that would send to the front end of my app that I could display everything in one nice um, UI basically to anyone who is, who's looking up restrooms. When all was said and done, I think it came out really great and um, I was able to basically give the data from Refuge Restrooms a nice uh, injection with like other really great details that the Google Places API gave me. And then we created a really fun UI that, uh, you know, has like a map around it and you could click places on the map, you could save searches and things like that. Um, and yeah, I was really proud of it. And I think one of the most rewarding parts was um, I shared it with the people who created the Refuge Restrooms API and um, they gave me nice feedback on it. They were pretty excited that I, I incorporated the, the Google Places stuff. And then it was also really up until that point, like people who were close to me and my network and my family and my friends like knew I was kind of like doing some kind of uh, technical training, if you will. But um, the capstone was like my first real tangible thing um, I had to share with people where they could like see it and mess with it and play with it um, and really, um, you know, ho hopefully be impressed by it and um, know what I've been up to for the last like several months of my life and what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, it was a really great, uh, you know, thing to have to share with people. And then it was a really great experience overall from the planning and design phases with my mentor uh, through the struggles of actually coding it and then just fine tuning it and polishing it. Um, to making it, you know, a fully complete app is something that um, I was really grateful to go through and, and still proud of today that I, that I have that to share with people.